Hey, how you doing? My name is Emilio and today we've got ourselves a new toy in the mail. This is the new iPhone 12. We're gonna be opening it up. Really, really excited. Just got it just this morning, so I'm really pumped to open it up. Before we do go into that, please remember as always to subscribe to my channel, clicking on that button and on the bell to be kept up to date with everything that I'm releasing. Let's go through this right now. Alright, so let's go ahead and open this up. There it is. So this is the new iPhone 12 Black. This is the 128 gig model. The box is a lot thinner, I'll tell you what. A lot thinner and of course that is because they're no longer bundling the charger uh, in here. So it is a lot thinner. The headphones are also not being bundled. So it's just the iPhone and a cable and the manual. There it is. Wow, very, very slick, very, very nice. Single Apple sticker, the manual, and then the little device there for taking out the SIM card on the side of the phone. And then our lightning to USB-C cable. So you'll need to have a USB-C charger or a laptop or a computer with a USB-C port on the side to be able to run the iPhone into that to charge it and to actually do all the syncing and backups. So the camera on the front, this one having the two cameras on the back, of course the iPhone 12 Pro has the three cameras on the back. It's got a lightning port on the bottom. It's got your power button on the side, as well as your volume up and down, and then the mute button. So let's just go and set up this phone. We're gonna just swipe up. So right from here, you can now start setting up apps and data. So it gives you some options. There's a total of five different options here around transferring apps and data to this iPhone. So if you're upgrading from an existing iPhone, you can actually transfer it directly from one to another. The third option being transferred directly from an iPhone. If you're moving from an Android to an iPhone, you can also select move data from an Android. If you've got existing backups from iCloud or if you've done a backup via iTunes or the music app on a Mac or a PC, you can select that other option. Or you can set up your phone with absolutely no data on there at all by selecting the last option there being don't transfer apps and data. So here is a good comparison of two iPhones. I've done the transfer from my old iPhone. This was a iPhone 10. It was awesome. It was 256 gig big and I could store so much stuff and it was due for my contract to be renewed. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go and opt for an iPhone 12. I didn't go with the iPhone 12 Pro because eh, I've got a good camera. I've got some other stuff that can do good video recording. So I thought, well, why am I gonna go for the higher end one when the iPhone 12 does the trick. So I've moved everything off this one. So if you are moving, say from an iPhone 10 or an iPhone 11, you'll see that these are a lot more rounded, a lot more curved, um, a lot more different to say this one. This one is a lot more jagged, straight edges. There's an older iPhone even before these ones where it actually did look very similar to this design. So they've obviously opted to update the design uh, to look like the earlier one. So it's almost like Apple likes to go back and change things. And then maybe the next one, maybe the iPhone 13 or 14 will look back like the iPhone 10 or the 11 did. Who knows? But they look great. They both look great. I'm gonna be a bit sad to get rid of this one because it actually, this one feels, this is the iPhone 10, feels a little bit nicer in the hand. Um, it just feels a little bit more smooth. And just as I'm holding it here, it feels smooth. This one is a little bit more rough. It just feels a little bit more rough. Maybe it's because I'm used to the smoothness of the 10 or the 11. Like my wife has an 11, for example. Um, so this one does feel a little bit different. So we'll see how that goes. So far, it's a little bit more rough on the hand, but I will put a case on this and the case should sort of loosen up the feel a little bit on the actual uh, iPhone 12 itself. Would I upgrade? That's the question. Would you upgrade from a 10 or an 11 to this one? This one definitely has a lot of boosts. Uh, internal stuff, they've improved 
uh, the CPU, they've improved all the graphics, they've improved the cameras, they've improved a lot of things. It feels differently. So I would say, yes, it's a good increase. It's a good upgrade from the previous model, especially because I had the 10, right? I could have gone from the 10 to the 11, but the 11 and the 10 look about the same. There was slightly differences and I think the 11 was slightly bigger. And that's why I chose to wait it out and then now wait for the 12 to come out and, and now I'm happy for that upgrade. But let's see how I go. I'm now gonna trial it out. I'm going to use the phone on a daily basis, working from home because everybody's working from home nowadays. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it works a lot better. It should be a lot faster, a lot more responsive uh, than my previous iPhone. But that's it. Hopefully you found this small little guide helpful, uh, unboxing the iPhone 12 and then showing you a good comparison between the earlier 10 or even the 11, which isn't too much difference there uh, with the iPhone 12. That's it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in. Really appreciate you spending the time today. Uh, and as always, like, comment, and subscribe, clicking on the bell to be kept up to date with every video that I'm releasing. It also helps me to continue to grow my channel and continue to release good content that you enjoy watching. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.